Let's be real, superhero fatigue isn't what you think. I love superhero content, but it's been a very hit or miss year for cape shit. Honestly, for the first time in a while, I haven't seen all of the superhero content in that later part of 2023, except for my dearly beloved, Invincible. Still waiting on part two, you cowards. Seriously, that mid-season break is honestly useless. Waiting for March 14th is absolutely insane. I don't know if I can wait that long, man. But that rant is for another video. The last superhero film I have seen was Blue Beetle. And honestly, it was just a waste of time for me. It was nothing special to me because they didn't try to do more. Visuals, story, and characters felt very cookie cutter. It's a shame because I love Zolo in the role, but overall the film just fell flat to me. And the latest superhero series I've seen is Echo, which I really hoped was fantastic, mainly because it had Wilson Fisk and my dearly beloved Daredevil. But I couldn't even finish it because I was so bored by it. Echo really fell flat for me, really. It didn't seem like many others loved it either. I rarely heard any discussions around Echo. And that's the main thing I've noticed about why people watch cape shit. It's FOMO, basically the fear of missing out. In this case, it's the fear of missing out on these discussions about these superhero films, like Marvel films or DC films. I remember back in the WandaVision days, actually, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning just to catch an episode of it so that I can eventually speculate about it, about what happened in that episode with other people online. And I didn't want to get spoiled by my YouTube homepage because it always seems to do that to me. Anyways, WandaVision grabbed a lot of people's attention and grabbed more people's attention because they wanted to be part of that discussion around the show. And some people just want to see what the hype was all about because it was the latest pop culture thing that was going viral. However, now with so much content to keep up with, not everyone will keep up. And they will get tired of seeing these type of stories, which in turn leads more people willing to be out of the loop, especially with the latest MCU film, where more and more people seem to be very disinterested in watching these films because they notice how conversations around these projects have died down so much. In turn, the fear of missing out isn't high. The reasons for this disinterest could be the lack of quality in terms of writing and production of these projects leading most people believing these projects have become cookie cutter. Or the oversaturation of the superhero genre, especially in the last two to three years, which goes for Marvel, DC, and whatever Amazon Prime is doing, it's just a lot of content. There's probably plenty more reasons why superhero fatigue is evident, but I'm just going off the dome here. But what I've noticed is that recent superhero content like Invincible, The Boys, Loki, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, The Batman, Peacemaker, and hell, you could even throw in No Way Home here as well, are what keeping the discussions around superhero content alive because they are quality content and offer something unique to cape shit. Plus, they weren't all spouted out in a hurry, probably except for No Way Home, because they were focused on making it with quality care. Like, people don't want to miss out on an episode of Invincible because it's familiar while uniquely brutal and clever, and you probably won't miss an episode of Invincible because of that stupid mid-season fucking break they had. But that rant is for another video. But a film like Across the Spider-Verse grabs so many people's attention because of the fantastic craftsmanship of the film, starting from the visuals and ending with the characters. It's just a great film all around and a great discussion piece to have with a film and animation fanatic and a casual fan who just really loved the film plus it's spider-man you really can't miss out on talking about my dearly beloved spider-man baby same thing about amazon prime's the boys because it's uniquely satirical and well-crafted while being batshit insane, offering a lot of discussions around the show adding that factor of fear missing out it's cape shit like this that'll keep the excitement for superhero content alive. Overall, it isn't people being tired of superheroes to a degree, but it's more like people being tired of seeing the same cookie cutter stories with cookie cutter characters made with such cookie cutter care. But it's the unique, well-crafted superhero content that'll keep people's interest and excitement alive for now and for the future. So yeah, superhero fatigue isn't what you think.